Hi there, it's Steve Picaro. I'd like to congratulate Michelle and everyone involved with the Bob Moog Foundation for over 11 years of work supporting the memory of Bob, preserving and restoring what must be an insane amount of archival material that I know I'd love to get my hands on, and most importantly, uh, creating the Dr. Bob Sound School program, teaching second graders about the science of sound. I absolutely love that they do this. Uh, my very first synth was a mini Moog, pre-CBS, clear pitch wheels, etched front panel. The wood was one solid piece. It looked beautiful and sounded even better. My brother Mike had loaned me the money for it when I first got my gig touring with Gary Wright on his Dreamweaver tour in 1975. I still have it, though it's not in its original form. Um, while a forklift was removing our rigs from the stage one night when we were opening for Jethro Tull, my beloved Mini Moog slid off the end of a scaffolding that we used for keyboard stands at the time and smashed onto the cement in front of me um, on the cement floor of whatever hockey rink it was we were playing in that night. Um, it was smashed to pieces and I was standing right there seeing the whole thing happen. And um, thank God it survived thanks to Gary's keyboard tech and still lives on thanks to the guys at Studio Electronics. Um, a couple years before that, I started going to NAMM shows and at some point introduced myself to Bob. Having grown up being warned about meeting your heroes, I was so relieved to find that Bob was never anything other than kind, approachable, and very encouraging, and, um, and absolutely had no problem making time for a kid like myself. Um, at one point, while he had Big Briar, my partner in Toto, David Page, and I ordered an eight-voice version of this amazing keyboard controller that he had on the drawing board. Um, it really hit me then how much Bob cared about the musicians who used his instruments and enabling them to um, exploit the possibilities of voltage control in a musical way. The keyboard never came to fruition. I'm not sure what happened. Um, I think it might have been MIDI. Um, but Bob's instruments to me always had this heart to them and a kind of magic that no one has come close to. Um, I want to ask anyone who's seeing this to please support the foundation, especially Dr. Bob's Sound School. Your donations go directly to supporting their educational efforts and help them expand their program to more and more children. Thanks a lot.